I was, I think I was uh, laying, I was laying down, and I had to go do something, but I was still a little tired, so I just kind of, I just missed it. And I noticed that I missed it, but I was like, yeah, fuck it, they know what I mean. <laughs> and he knew it would give them just, it probably, the whole time they were discussing what it meant, so you gave them great pleasure, so there you go. <laughs> He's like half an hour, an hour before the session properly starts is always really fun. Yeah. <laughs> like for the wrong reasons, but still yeah. genuinely enjoyable. It's Miles' favorite part before we play. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, haven't, I haven't fucked up yet. Yeah, exactly. So if I put those in the recordings, are you saying you'd watch them? Let's not go too far. <laughs> okay. I mean, I did put in our discussion about the Mario Brothers movie. Oh, I forgot to uh, watch that fucking thing you told me to. Damn it. <laughs> the Mario Brothers movie? No. <laughs> the, um, the part about Star Wars being conniving last oh, uh, two sessions yeah. ago. <laughs> I forgot about that. Well, my character wasn't there for it, so I'll take it as a um, about of role-playing. I don't know, in character or out of character. All right. That's the excuse I'm running with. You can't per persuade me otherwise. All right. Good. Star Wars fine with it. Star Wars fine. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's cool with me. <laughs> okay, now we're going to What's going watch. on? <laughs> now, see, the thing is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume the worst. Uh, and I have I a pretty... You can assume what I... you think is the worst, but I don't think you're going to hit it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I have a pretty Star active Star imagination. I don't know if you've noticed. <laughs> grown as a player. Let's just put it that way. All it took was creating the chaotic evil character, uh -huh. and then... <laughs> and just like, he just blocked it. Oh, oh, I'm back. Oh. All right, now David settled. Alright, now we can get started. <clears throat> Alright. So, uh, you wake up um, in your state of frenzy, okay. and you remain in that state until eventually you reach a moment of clarity. All right. You find yourself uh, within a sort of, you're still in the garden, but now it seems to have opened up into, uh, it seems more expansive than it did before. Okay. And then out from behind the plants, uh, lops a coyote. Coyote. Okay. And he walks up to you. Oh, coyotes are things about Providence or whatever. Pretty yes. sure. I was gonna say, coyote is Native American. I mean, you are in America. I am in America. And North Joseph, America. And Joseph is a Native mm -hmm. American. It's true. Okay. Very. All right, so, uh, does Coyote speak to me? No, he just walks up and looks up at you. Pass it. All right, so I... Oh, no, don't put your head on top of it, your hand on top of its head, actually. Tribes don't like that. Anyway. <laughs> I, will, I will say, do you have a message for me? All right, so he kind of tilts his head quizzically at you and then turns around and starts walking away. I will follow him. All right. So you follow him through uh, the underground forest until eventually you hear uh, sounds in the distance. And then through the uh, bushes, you can see there is a woman. She is undressed and having Congress with a snake. What's having Congress mean? What uh, do you think? Having sex. <laughs> <laughs> having sex with snake all right this is very um garden of eden ish um it's lilith probably so i was gonna say does it appear to be lilith or eve um well specifically you're thinking it's probably based on what you know it's probably eve yeah I was gonna say, I don't think the snake. Had what? Uh, Lilith had sex with God and like angels, but not specifically oh, yeah. the I was snake. Say this, that's very specifically in the Camarilla version of the Bible. Um, 
is, yeah. is Eve having sex with the snake. <clears throat> um, all right, so that's Eve, and is Adam around? I'll look around. What else do I see? All right, well, after a little bit, you do see that there is a tree nearby bearing fruit. Okay. And when she's finished with the snake, the snake leads her over to it. Okay. And she takes a piece and bites it, and you can see that the inside of it, although it looks good from the outside, is corrupted. Okay. And you can see that her veins begin to bulge and blacken, and you can see that the corruption has spread to her as well. Okay. Are there two trees? Um, you can only see the one from where you are, but there's more forest around you. All right. So, once she has been polluted by it, she then starts to go off through the forest. The snake vanishes into the underbrush, and you can't see it anymore. Okay, I'm going to follow Eve. All right. Eventually, uh, you follow her, and she begins to approach a man who is reclining inside of a bed of red roses. Okay. The roses completely surround him, mm -hmm. and then she approaches and offers the fruit to him. And he takes it and eats it. He is in the process of taking it when you wake up. Hmm. And okay. obviously in frenzy, you dig into the blood supply that's been left in the cooler for you. All right. So there is enough there to return you to five blood points. All right. Interesting. <laughs> So obviously I will need to analyze my brain. So if you want to give me an intelligence plus a cult. That is seven. So since you've already sort of identified your last vision as having to do with clan symbols, um, you do know that the rose is the symbol of another clan, uh, the Toreador. Mm, that would be Jean. So a woman is going to corrupt Jean. Or may have already corrupted him. You didn't actually see him eat the apple in the vision. Actually, right. But she gave, and he was about to. It seemed as though he was about to. Being weak-willed, obviously, he'd do whatever a woman told him to do. Exactly. And possibly his woman is corrupted. She was already corrupted in the vision, yeah. Yes. So, Haru, maybe. So, maybe Eve is Haru. That is his wife, so... Mm -hmm. uh, that does make sense. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> so, she, she may be the one who is corrupted. Maybe she is the one sending you these dreams. You better, pay, you better put more of those hexing masks to protect you. I think I need some more... Uh, oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do I know any sort of uh, sympathetic magic that could um, help protect his from his dreams? Like any little bags of goo that I can put in his room? Um, You could try and um, put up, like, oh, like dream maybe. catchers, yeah, things like that. Something like that. Joseph actually might be able to help I you was gonna with say, that. I might, I might speak with Joseph about some dream catchers. All right. All right. Hmm. Yeah, it's looking more and more like Jean is the one who's actually the uh, infernalist. Hmm. <laughs> well, now once he started showing Dame Moynan. <laughs> I don't know that I've seen the day morning yet. That's true. Although he did tell me. He told me he had. Yeah. That. That's so. Right. He did actually tell me that. Um, so I do know that he has demon powers. And Okay. All right. So I will. I will the next time I speak with. The next time Jean and I have a, 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 a discussion. Mm -hmm. um, I will inquire about Haru. All right. So, Hassan. Yep. All right. Uh, give me uh, a humanity check. 
May I ask why? <laughs> I will explain it. <laughs> Once we see what the results are. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. I'm thinking I might need to go and watch the video now. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. oh, uh, it is character. four. In character. You All right. No in idea. character, I have no idea. Out of character, I am absurdly curious now. <laughs> All right. So during the day, um, you do start to kind of come to your senses a little bit. You sense that there is motion within your room and you hear your coffin being opened, but you are unable to actually fully awaken. You just kind of sense it. <laughs> and then you fall back to sleep. So, the next uh, evening when you wake up, coffin's closed, everything seems fine. Alright. There's no way to tell what <laughs> Stalworth did to you. <laughs> <laughs> is Abigail awake? Uh, yes, Abigail is. Uh, she's not awake, but she is nearby, um, sleeping. Well, I will uh, wait for her to wake up then. Maybe prepare her breakfast. I assume she has that. Okay. Yeah, so after a little bit, when she hears you preparing her breakfast, uh, she does wake up. Good morning. Good good evening. Ah, right. Did you hear anyone uh, enter my room this night? This day, rather? No. no. I see. Give me a perception plus empathy. Oh, these are just all my best roles, aren't they? Yep. It's a free. <laughs> yep. uh. Uh, it seems like there's something off with her when she says that. Are you sure? She's worse at hiding than you are perceiving. So she I kinda, was certain I could hear something. She kind of looks at you nervously. And then... Uh, something the matter. She bursts into tears and just like huddles up in a corner uh, saying that she's sorry. She just keeps repeating it over and over. You know, she doesn't seem very happy, Hassan. <laughs> oh, shut your mouth. <laughs> not very happy. And her instability is not very healthy, either. Uh-huh, yeah, no. Please. She's happy and healthy. She's Please, not Abigail, be at ease. I am not angry at you. Uh, so eventually, uh, as you try and comfort her, um, she does kind of regain herself a little bit, and she says, uh, I'm sorry, Master, I, uh, I, I, I opened your coffin. But why? Uh, I, I was scared. Scared of what? I... I, I don't know. Hmm. Would you prefer sleeping with company? With you, Master? If that is what you prefer. Uh, okay, Master. Very well then. There's no need for you to feel sorry. Alright, and she throws her arms around you and just kind of buries her face in your chest. Alright. <laughs> and Hassan is there not sure what to do with his arms and pats her a little on her head. <laughs> yeah, I kinda do. <laughs> I pet her, pet her head like a dog. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Well, that's that then. <laughs> so after she's finished, she asks, uh, are we going to pray now? Yes, I believe it is time. All right. So I will go fetch John and we'll head out to pray. All right. So yeah, John, you get fetched. Coolio. And up we go, start praying. All right. Draw a line in the sand to um, divide the sexes. <laughs> All right. And pray. Is this so tradition? Abigail remembers that she's inferior. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Not inferior, just separate. Yeah. I believe it is separate time for you to start either, hiding. Right? I separate believe it is time for you to start hiding your face. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know how they going to feel about uh, you sharing a coffin with her. <laughs> yeah. How else am I supposed to control my urges when a djinn enters my body? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So once you guys are finished uh, with your prayers, uh, the male twin comes in looking for uh, Hassan. Yes. How may I help you? Kind of looks you up and down and says, I can think of a couple ways you could help me. Mm. <laughs> Jean's eyebrow. But I assume... <laughs> can I watch? But, but I assume you had something specific in mind in searching me out. I was uh, going to take you out. Oh. I see. Well, I would not mind the distraction. In fact, it would be rather welcomed. Uh, Sean, would you mind taking care of Abigail while I'm gone? How long will this take? Oh, it could take a long time. And he winks at you. I see. Hmm. <laughs> I could go on for hours, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I see. Again. Mm. <laughs> hmm. Well. This is awkward. It's all right. He's on the right side of the gender line, so yeah. it's all yeah. okay. It's all okay. It's all good. Yeah. So, would you be okay with taking care of Abigail for that time, then, Sean? Yeah, whatever. Thank you, brother. I got this. All right. I will be back later, Abigail. All right. Have a nice night. Use, guys. Out of character. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm after exiting a game that's full screen, but it's not actually. And... <laughs> it won't minimize or anything, so I'm gonna have to restart my computer. Oh no! <laughs> All right. So can do you can't just screen. alt F4? Can I do alt F4? Alt F4. What's that do? That's four shot oh, down with whatever it is. It's not working, in it? Alright. I was going to say, do a control alt delete and just shut down the game. Using task manager? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, there's a full screen game blocking it. <laughs> oh, because you can't get over. And if you, yeah. if you do alt tab, can you, uh, can you switch windows? Uh, alt tab. Uh, I'll... Let's find out. Everyone no, here, except for the computer, computer science scientist, is <laughs> explaining to David how to use his computer. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> he's, plotting, he's plotting how to... Uh, he's busy, yeah. yeah he's, he's conniving. He's coming up with plans. Right, well, conniving? Yeah. Wait a second. This stand-up citizen. Alright, well, we'll wait for David to get back, and maybe we can put the cat in a room. Mm -hmm. I don't have a good room to put him in because he's going to destroy whatever I put him into. Can't put him in the upstairs bathroom? Oh, I could put him there. Okay. All right. He's a destroyer. <laughs> he is. He is a destroyer. He gets even with me. Oh, you're fine. Ouch. <laughs> I'm looking forward to when Miles figures out exactly what Stallworth has been planning. Yes, that should be very interesting. <laughs> mm -hmm. You've dedicated yourself to the course of not uh, hearing what's going on, so it'll be a complete surprise. This will be, uh, looking forward to it. Really looking forward to it. <laughs> is David back? It says he is. Well, he's probably just... Hello. Hello. Hello there. 
am, my friends. I am back. My second coming was rather swift. All right. All right. So let's see. Where were we? Conniving. <laughs> ah, yes, that's right. Oh, yeah. Hassan was leaving to go have sex with a... Uh... A man. The male twin, yeah. Sex. <laughs> uh... Alright. So yeah, you two head out. And uh, once you guys are out, uh, he's like, alright, hop in. And he jumps behind the driver's seat of the van. I'm out of character. Are we allowed to use the van? Uh, he signed off for it. Okay. I was, gonna, I, I was thinking he was going to hop on the motorcycle, and I was no. like, whoa. Yeah, I haven't then. All right. So. So where are we going? I figured we'd go out and, you know, catch a bite to eat. Excellent. I'm quite famished. And then we'll see where the evening takes us. And as he's driving, you feel a hand on your knee. Well, mm -hmm. you're on a date, <laughs> This came rather suddenly, I must admit. <laughs> I mean, you guys have already had sex, so... We have, we have. And I do quite like this person, somehow. <laughs> so you're quite... Somehow. Glad. Somehow. Oh. I mean, usually you like the people you have sex with. Usually. Well, yeah, usually. So I don't know. Some of the time. Yeah. yeah. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you guys head out uh, to a uh, like a nightclub. Mm -hmm. You guys head in. Uh, if you would like to try and uh, seduce someone yourself, you're welcome to. But he will go off and do his thing. Well, seduction is not really my forte. All right. So uh, you just kind of wait on it, and eventually. Uh, he comes by with a very, uh, seems like a very drugged up, uh, looking female. Hmm. Is there a chance of addiction if it's just like one or two blood points for this? Uh, probably not. I don't like the word properly in there. Uh, one hit's not gonna get you addicted. Unless it's crack. <laughs> yeah, mm. that's true. Crack is whack. Not even once. <laughs> this is crack. Actually, this was not even once, right? Yeah, so this isn't meth, so it's fine. Uh -huh. Just once. <laughs> I guess just once won't kill me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, only meth. Uh, peer pressure. The peer pressure comes in. <laughs> Hassan immediately caves. Can. Where's the good Muslim boy that grew up? You know? <laughs> you know? Didn't know you were such a yeah, Now swear. he's a drugged out homosexual. Maybe you belong on the outside of the mosque. Yeah. Excuse me, Mary. Wow. Bisexual. Good. Yeah. Hassan, Omnisexual. Hassan actually is what, like, hardcore Muslims think of the first world. Like, yeah. you go there, and then you're just having sex with men and <laughs> using drugs. Do you know what? That reminds me of my friend. He got one of those random Middle Eastern guys who just add people on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And you just, he actually added him for the fun of it. And he messaged him and was like, hey, are you gay? And my friend's like, no, why? And he's like, oh, I thought all Western men are gay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. I see. And then he replied, no, all Western men are bisexual. <laughs> I wish he replied that. I think he replied something like, yeah, that sounds sustainable. <laughs> and, like, and then the guy was like, what? <laughs> Because <laughs> his English didn't seem to be very good, I'm sure he didn't know what sustainable meant. Mm. Well, regardless, I'm simply being polite and accepting his gift. All right. <laughs> One blood point. He's getting, he's slipping you a. Mickey. One blood point. So he kind of, you know, you guys take him back into the van, and then he drives, uh, dr take her into the van, and then you guys drive off into kind of a secluded area this where you have time is to the be alone. Drug right here. <laughs> she she has been given the date rape drug to give you the date rape exactly. drug. Exactly. Now, Mary, I have to say, there's no need for the date rape here. He may not know that. You, you can remove half of that word. <laughs> he may not know that. He's just hedging his bets. Yeah. 
Classic Bill Cosby maneuver. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. This is getting awkward, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, he offers her to you first. getting good. <laughs> so. So, if you guys go into the back, he undresses her, and then he offers her to you. Yeah, I'll take one blood point. All right. So you start to feel a little bit heady after you take that. Um, but good, mm -hmm. you know, very positive. And then he starts to undress as well. Oh, do you undress, or is that assuming too much? <sighs> Social folk. Just go with the flow, Ma. No, no, I'll, I'll wait for him to finish. All right. So you wait for him to get undressed, and you notice that he is obviously fully prepared for this encounter. I see. So he kind of, you know, he starts to take a blood point and he nods at you. All right, well then, I'll get undressed as well. All right. Are you also fully prepared for this encounter? No, no, I'll let him, I'll let him take the reins this time. I did it <laughs> last. It's only fair. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we are in for a weird and wild time. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Hassan will remain flaccid throughout. <laughs> it is a new experience. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So he uh, takes a couple of blood points, and then uh, he comes at you. All right. And so in the midst of your encounter, he opens up his own wrist and offers it to you. Yeah, well, I guess we'll both can take a point from each other then. All right. So as you're sharing blood, uh, he also starts uh, taking breaks to take more blood from the woman. Uh, I'm not going to be doing that. You're going to refrain? Yeah, I'm going to refrain from that. Okay. Loser. Looks like you need to rethink what side of the line you belong on. <laughs> <laughs> so, now that you've you know, narrowed your focus solely to the man you're with. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I won't require a humanity roll, but uh, she does pass away over the course of your evening together. Uh -huh. Eventually, when you're finished, uh, you two are just kind of sitting there in the back of the van with this corpse. Smoking a cigar. And he is smoking, uh, he pulls out a joint and starts to smoke it. Hmm. And he offers it to you. I will take one sip. Right. One, not a sip, what do you call it? A hit. A hit. Right. <laughs> Just that. He eats milk, he sips marijuana. It's, <laughs> it's pronoun. <laughs> Whatever. It's a verb. Right? No. I love how that betrays like, your uh, inexperience as a character. I will have one sip, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I will accept a sip of marijuana. Whoa, that's that's not an inexperience. That noise. That's you not an inexperience as a character. That's an inexperience as a player. So hard he dropped his dice. Jesus, I don't know. It sounded like your cat was scurrying around on ice or some shit. No, I put him. We, this this may him come as a surprise to you, David, but I've never had any drugs. Damn. Well, you except alcohol. Well, yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's you know be clear on that. Which is literally yeah, a drug. Now. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. I guess if you want to be technical it's about worse it. Worse than some of the drugs yeah, that are illegal. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, in terms of like life-destroying substances, way more people have. Uh, Suffered from alcoholism than any other drug. Look, I can stop any time. Yeah, <laughs> I, I just don't want to. Just don't want because it's mm -hmm. not a problem. All yeah. right. Mm -hmm. guys, so being as a so Muslim awful. character, you would know that uh, alcohol is bad for you. Mm -hmm. But fortunately, this isn't alcohol. Some, yeah, I'm missing some. I'll find them later. All right. Yeah, I'm taking the. I'm taking the one hit. You're taking the sip. All right. And, it's a uh, new experience. As you guys are kind of just sitting there smoking, he turns to you and says, This is legal now, you know. Damn. Really? I was not aware. The marijuana. Not. Not the song. <laughs> not, not the murder. The, not the murder. Not the murder sex the song. Orgy. You know. Yes, I figured. <laughs> I'm not quite that lucky yet. My profession must still remain secret. <laughs> But uh, the thing is, obviously, you know, I grow this myself. 
It's a little side business that I run for the pack. I see. For the pack, Very, yeah. Im- very impressive, brother. The thing is, is that since Canada has legalized marijuana, it's been harder to find customers, you know. Really hmm. ate into my business. You know, when there's a lot more supply, there's a lot less demand. Of course. So you should go legal. So, I've been thinking I need something else to sell. Such as? Well, you know, prescription meds a pretty good business these days. Thing is, I can't really get one. You know, I can't just go into the doctor on account of me being dead. Of course. So I was thinking I need someone friendly, happy, you know, willing to do whatever it takes for the pack, and sneaky. Hmm. Have you discussed the matter with Mr. Yamamoto? I have no objection to taking on this little side assignment for the pack, of course. I just want to make sure it is. it has been approved. Not in so many words, but I have been given broad discretionary uh, powers when it comes to acquiring finances for the pack. I see. Would you mind terribly if I were to simply ask him if this is a fine use of my abilities? If you feel it's necessary, although I must admit I am somewhat hurt that you don't trust me. Oh, please, but I did not intend it for the. I did not intend for it to come out like that. Of course, I trust you. All right. So he leans on you and puts his head against your shoulder. Sneaks an arm around your waist. <laughs> <laughs> just, just... Hand on your thigh. Hand on your thigh. I'll do this. I'll do the same to him. We're going full broke right. back here. <laughs> I just don't know how to quit you. <laughs> <laughs> broke back van. Yeah, broke back van. Alrighty. <laughs> so, he says, you know, I knew you'd be able to handle this for me. You're such a strong and capable man. Why, well, thank you. <laughs> you might be my favorite. Oh, good day to honor, brother. You have all the generosity and warm-heartedness of Jean without the, uh, you know, <clears throat> the pussiness. <laughs> Why? Thank you. That chuckle was in character. You have the devious, <laughs> seductive nature of Joseph without the, you know, Psychology. psychopath. Yeah. And cowardness. And cowardliness, yeah. <laughs> Good, good. This has been a most enjoyable eve, I must admit. <laughs> it's really easy to butter him up. <laughs> Maybe once you've done this little job for me, and he starts, he makes a little, like, man with his two fingers, and he starts walking it up your leg. Uh, <laughs> Maybe we can find, we can talk with Lysia and find some other ways to, uh, enjoy one another. Perhaps, although I must admit, the thought of using her abilities for such a matter is a bit concerning to me. Oh, I I understand why you're nervous, and, you know, I, I obviously don't blame you. For your first time, it can be scary. But I'll be with you, and I'll show you the ropes. Do we really have to do this every time? <laughs> yeah. I guess we do. <laughs> it's it, it's tradition now. A side business of like sex and dance. This game, <laughs> this entire game is actually a dating sim. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. And you picked the right one, Miles. Good job. <laughs> yeah, you're just maxing out affection measures all over the place. <laughs> Clearly. Wow. Just two By girls. the way, I, I guess my um, roller rating went up with the male twin for this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're on your way to the true ending. <laughs> Clearly, I'm, I'm max, I've maxed out a lot of social links, my dude. Mm-hmm. Thou shalt have our blessing. <laughs> I, suffer, I have, Frederick, I have not maxed yours out. Yours, yours is one of the lowest. Yeah, I think the same Yeah, way. well, 
Uh, nobody likes John for some weird reason. <laughs> I think Joseph does, right? That's <laughs> 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 The, the affection rating is maxed out when that person likes you. Yeah. <laughs> so right. it's a mystery how far you are with me. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, you're blood bound to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I love Lizzie. At least he's the best shit. <laughs> She's great. She's just so cool. Yeah, yeah. Can I say? All right. To be fair, I mean... Your deal with your wife is that you can't feed from a woman, but you are best friends with a flesh crafter, so you do have a little handy way around that. Well, that's cheating. <laughs> yeah, but, you know. You know, you it's can't It's cheating too... to get away with cheating. You can't be too hard on yourself, Sean. <laughs> All right. So, you guys head back to the Haven. And do the rest of you want to do anything while these guys were out, you know, on their date? No. Nah. Alright. So, you Just guys... Just taking care of your one. <laughs> so, well, I'll go talk to Jean if I... if he's around, if I see him. Yeah, you can find him. I'll Track him down. He's with him. Abigail. And, and... She's kind of sitting in a back corner, basically eagle-eyed watching... John. Okay, that's odd. <laughs> wow. Um, no trust. Okay. Uh, so I'll take a seat next. <laughs> After glancing over at Abigail. And... Okay. Um, so. So, John. Mm -hmm. How much do you know about your. Uh, your woman, Haru. Everything. Everything. Like, how, yes. how did you meet? Back in secondary school, we've been inseparable since. Let's see. And has she been acting strangely at all lately? Oh, gosh. Well... Yes. Just the last time. <laughs> Just the last time I saw her, in fact. She was not put off at all with this assignment Yamamoto was giving her. Uh -huh. And I thought it was a bit weird. Uh -huh. I assumed she had been messed around with by maybe my sire. But it's hard to say. Well, as you know, I've been on a vision quest. Mm-hmm. Haru may have something to do with your dreams. Oh, God, in what way? Within my vision quest, I believe that the woman symbolizing Haru was corrupted. Oh, God. Okay. How so? <laughs> well, that's not entirely clear yet. But you should... So maybe not Satan? Well, a, a serpent. A, a demon. So Satan... <laughs> Yes. Oh my fucking god, he's already gotten to her. Mm-hmm. So I would be on your guard, Sean. Um, this isn't good. He was already you, threatening her, and now you're saying he's already done something to her. Within my vision quest, you had not yet eaten the corrupted fruit. There may still be hope for you. But not for Haru? <laughs> I just look at him and place a hand. Nah, him. nah, there's a way. You can cure it. You're not gonna Possibly. mention that you uh, <laughs> found her <laughs> in flagrante with the snake. I, I will not. <laughs> I, I don't feel that he can handle that. <laughs> but, I mean, so so 
<laughs> Joseph comes along to offer that <laughs> comforting thought. <laughs> Um, so, uh, I will search for a way, but I currently know of no way to undo this sort of corruption. Oh, okay. How? How? No, I don't. I, I currently don't. Oh, you don't? I don't know any way. <laughs> oh, fuck, I will, sorry. <laughs> I will for something, but I, but I don't currently know of anything. Well... Is there any way I can help you find it? Unless you are a master of the occult. No, I can't think of... Anything. Well, I'll become one. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> Where do I start? Have I finished reading all the holy texts? <laughs> uh, it's been a couple months, so you probably finished reading the Bible and the Quran, yeah. Okay. Um... Lizia gave me a copy of the Book of Cain, right? Uh, the Book of Nod. Uh, yes. The Book of Nod, sorry. Um, not the whole thing, because obviously the whole thing is lost, but she gave you uh, the copy of her excerpts that she has. Extant. Okay, so I need to go through that. All right. <laughs> you're going to find some, next on my list. some wonderful yeah. uh, oh, thoughts in there. And when you do, you're going to find... Is there anything... Sorry, go on, Mary. So when you do go through it, you are going to find that humans are the downfall of the game. Cain's <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we'll love for Billa cost him dearly. We'll see, we'll see. Anyway, so yes, you can continue on. with. Is there anything in the Torah that isn't in the Bible? Um... Say is the, the whole Talmud. Torah in the Bible? There are the Mishnah and the Talmud as yeah, well. Yeah, there are like books. You really need to get into Kabbalah. Yeah. All right. Well, I should get into that then. So you want to go down to the local library? Yeah. All right. Unless it's already in our library here. Uh, nothing on Kabbalah is no. Yeah, we don't have a lot on Kabbalah, so I would I would okay. be interested if there's a. Uh, um, we might be able to um, acquire some books. Some Catholic All right. books. I would be I would be interested in that as priest. Alright. Well, fortunately, uh one of you is actually a resident of the city that was living here, so I assume Jean probably does have a library card. Oh yeah. Okay. So. And it's uh getting late enough uh in the year that you can get there during hours. Okay. During... Um not this night, obviously, it's too late, no, but but the next night you can do that. Alright. So anyway. Cool. So anyway, um, you need to watch Haru carefully on whatever mission Yamamoto has sent her on, because she may she may betray us all. Oh gosh. I'll try. <laughs> Not really. She's my <laughs> wife. <laughs> she, she can do whatever she wants, but uh, yeah. This is exactly how Adam got corrupted, like, yep, down to the letter. Is pretty much, Lysia is not hopeful here. Well, she told me to eat it, so... Anyway, so I'm going to look into more ways to... I uh, Well, no, I don't know. Do I want... Well, because he's going to sign that damn book. I don't want him to sign the book, so no, I don't want him to have the dreams. All right. So, yeah, my next thought is to try and find Joseph. And... Yeah, you can find Joseph discuss possibly he can get me some uh, dream catchers from his people yeah you, so you find him okay so joseph yes bless you father <laughs> <laughs> he's genuflecting <laughs> <laughs> well he's part of the religion now yeah you know yeah um anyway uh, he I see found you're learning the vocab, Mary. He found a god. <laughs> I mean, it's the demiurge, but you know, it's a god. It's fine. It's fine. Um, so, uh, Joseph, I was wondering if you could help me with something. Whatever you need. <laughs> I'm your man. Let's go. Um, <laughs> Who dies? <laughs> you need to kill someone. I'll kill someone. Yeah. <laughs> Want me to kill Jean's wife? I'll do it. <laughs> so gladly. 
<laughs> Easily. Well, Easily. she is an infernalist. With so. pleasure. By all means. With pleasure. <laughs> um, it would um, be my honor. It would be my pleasure. So, so uh, Jean has been having some bad dreams. And I was wondering... You want me to kill him? <laughs> <laughs> and I was wondering... Can I think? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. This, well. this is John in the other room just yelling these things. David's gone off the deep end. <laughs> John has just lost it. Everything sucks. Lizia. My wife's gonna kill me. <laughs> my friends are my friends are gonna kill me. My boss is gonna kill me. This is where humanity leads. It's you. fucked up into that, that the person who's uh, trying to corrupt you is the one that you trust most, and the only people trying to save you are the people you trust least. <laughs> I know, right? So, so yeah, so this, this is what, what Lisa, world. So Lisa, you just hear Jean spouting off in the other room. You want me to kill him? Uh, Jean is not saying these things. <laughs> anyway. Obviously. <laughs> He's just thinking them. Um, all right, so uh, Jean is, is having some bad dreams, and I was wondering if you could get me some uh, of those dream catchers that the Native Americans use. Okay, when you say get, do you mean make, or do you mean actually go get them? Do, do you know how to make them? What? Uh, what's your craft skill? That's a non-existent so <laughs> probably not. Uh, <laughs> no, you do not. Uh, do you have any points in a cult? I do have three. Alright, you know how to make them, but you're not very good at it. Okay. I'll go. One second. I'll be back in one second. All right. I'm going to go learn to make some dream catchers. Hey, yeah, I gotta, 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 looking gotta up dream catchers. Yeah. Just Googling it right now. <laughs> and it makes you feel better. If Haru is corrupted, at least Madison's keeping an eye on her. Yeah. I'll cure her. It's fine. Anyone can be saved. It says that in the book. Yeah, in the mm. version. Well, Reddit cover to cover. In the New Testament, maybe. Yeah, that's the one that matters. Mm -hmm. Dead stone! Dead <laughs> stone. Remember when the Lord, son of our God, said that? Because I do. Read it. <laughs> now, did you read the Catholic version of the Bible? Or the Protestant Probably. Version? It's got more books in it. I mean, the Catholic version probably being French. All right. Yeah. I did have to read the Quran translated, which I know is uh, not the best, but whatever. I don't have time to learn Arabic. Did you read it cover to cover? Because you probably found it very. I read. I listen. I read it to cover to cover, and I even tried to learn off, like partially. <laughs> so. Get the real. Like, it's not the real experience until you have pointless amounts of it learned off. You know. Yeah, mm -hmm. obviously. Right. Well, you only have. Uh, it's very repetitive. So. Yeah. So you'll helps learn it. It helps you remember it. Yeah, it does. So anyway, yeah, I'm pretty sure, you know, yeah, Jesus, or what's he called in the Quran? Yeshu or some shit? I mean, um, it's still yeah. Jesus. Or that, was that his original? Yeah, that's... Yeshua ben Joseph. Is... How you pronounce it is, you know, kind of cultural, but it's all the same guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the Quran, he's not, he's not son of God. He's just a prophet. Yeah, but like he said, dead stone in the Quran as well. Is all I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> so it was in both. So this guy was had yeah, some dead sort of link to God. Dead stone. So therefore, okay. of course, I have returned. The only part of the Bible that's confirmed canon in Vampire the Masquerade is the Old Testament. The Old Testament, but you know, dead With stone. The, uh, <laughs> Old Testament God. Anyway, um, see, you should come to Lysia and Joseph and ask about why God seems different in the two testaments. Maybe they could enlighten you. Mm. Anyway, speaking of Lizzie and Joseph, I was gonna say I'm I'm assuming that we have some sort of like Bible school or, or religious school maybe like once a week. I'm there to I have office hours for anyone who has questions or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so Joseph is back. So anyway, uh, my question still stands: Can you get me some dream catchers? Do you, know, um, do you know anyone that, you know, can build them or make them? Actually, 
is uh is Madison still around? Um, Madison has actually uh departed to uh with Haru already. Already. Ah, uh, that's that's real unfortunate. Do I know anyone else from the reservation that doesn't want to outright kill me? The, yeah, no. you do know people that know how to make them, but unfortunately, uh, you are sort of persona non grata at the reservation. Although I don't think Lysia knows that necessarily because well, she I would was, assume you would just she send wasn't with what, you. you have another ghoul. Just send him to the reservation to buy them. Ah, uh, sure enough. <laughs> I'm like, this is not difficult. I'm not sure why you're I, hesitating, Joseph. I be forgetting about Lewis sometimes. Yeah, I'll, um... <laughs> he's standing in the corner right now, like, it's okay. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'll, send... I'll look over at Lewis. Like, why can't Lewis? I, I love this characterization where Joseph just doesn't remember Lewis. Like, oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the one I let live. <laughs> Forgot about my yeah, bitch I'll... over here. <laughs> oh, uh, I'll send I Lewis to go pick Lewis. some up. Him womanly. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so yeah, he's willing to go. Okay, so fabulous. That will be fabulous. Thank you. All right. So, um, he can do that during the day. And is there anything else you guys want to do in the evening? Or are you gonna wait until the next uh, night? when you can go shopping, basically. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just read whatever I'm reading in the library. Okay. Whatever book I'm on. Alright. No I've one... got all the Premier's books that from, you yeah. know, right? He's got... You've got some of them, at least. He didn't... Whatever he left for us. Yeah. Okay. Before he died. Before he was killed. Alright. So... Uh, the next day passes, so I have to take off a blood point. Okay. So, Lewis, have the dream catchers? Uh, yeah. You actually, fortunately, you have beaten down his will enough that he doesn't try and run uh, once you give him the car and mm -hmm. <laughs> during the day. Okay. He's sufficiently dominated to be a trustworthy ghoul. And he comes well, back. very good that he has been trustworthy. I will <laughs> pat him on the head. Good job. And he presents the dream catchers to you. Right. So I will go to Jean's room. Is he awake? Um, yeah. I'll knock if he's there or is he praying. Um, yeah, he would be getting ready to pray at this point. So I'll, I'll knock on your door, Jean. How kind of you. Come in. So I'll come in with my dream catchers and I'll I'll be like, I Jean, I would like to put these up in your room. They're dream catchers. By all means. Okay. <laughs> so I will hang them in various places around his bed. Alright. Do they uh do they conflict at all with anything else decorating the room? No. I mean they kind of they don't really match the weird mask thing, but, you know, I mean, it's, you know, it's eclectic. It's, yeah. Now you got, like... Well, are we getting any vibes? Any angry vibes by no, us putting no these angry here? angry vibes. Alright, that's good, that's good. Chill. No, Majora's mask is still smiling at you. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Don't be name-dropping like that. You can't just say that. <laughs> In character, he has no idea he what it no is. has no idea what that is. He's never played Majora's In mask. character, have I never played Majora's mask? I don't know. Have you? I kind of wish I did now, but I don't know. Maybe yeah, I should buy the have... skill. Was was Jean a PlayStation guy? <laughs> Shit. Was he a PC gamer? It, that's true. Probably With your level gamer. of computers, you would be a PC gamer. Mm -hmm. Probably, yeah. Uh, yeah, once you know enough PC about electronics, you realize that uh, PC Master now, Race. Now, the question is... I don't know. It's pretty hard to spend a long time on the internet not being at least aware of classical games, though. So, the question is, do we have the Nintendo system in the uh, Pack Haven? Uh, no. Okay. So uh, he didn't, like, come across, because I'm like, if he came across the cartridge, he'd realize. Yeah. Alright. Alright. So after you guys do your prayers and are getting ready to go out to the library, uh, the female twin kind of gathers, talks to as many of you as she can. 
Okay. Probably the prayer group. She says, you know, I know to see you've uh, signed out the car for the evening. This is kind of directed towards Jean. Did I? Well, you guys were planning on going we to the library, to go to the you? library to get some... Uh, oh, the library. Items. Okay, yeah, that's right. Well, then why? What's up? Hmm. I suppose it's acceptable that you leave, but you're going to have to take me and anyone else who wants to go with you. Okay. Sure. All right. We're just going to the library. It might be boring. Uh, you're not just going to the library. I was going to say, what, it, it, obviously, oh. have you been assigned a mission? Um, sort of a mission. It's not been assigned by Yamamoto, but... Okay. We'll be happy to uh, drop you wherever you need to go. All right. So, before you guys leave, she makes an announcement on the PA system that anyone who wants to participate in a super cool and super fun mission should meet up. <laughs> Uh, with oh, Lucia and John. Uh, who who, who uh, is saying this? Uh, it's the female twin. You're gonna meet up with Lizia and John. Sure, I guess <laughs> the female twin did say Lizia. Well, Joseph would <laughs> gladly, gladly join them. <laughs> Prove your worth to the pack. <laughs> like everybody's been plugged out to Lizia for some. You've been sharing blood with a lot of people. I have been, and I do the vision quest where everybody just feeds for me and I don't feed back, so. <laughs> yeah, it's a win-win. Yeah. It's Actually, it's well. just a win. <laughs> all right. So then, uh, yeah, if all of you it's my spiritual decide to go there, the male twin is there as well. Okay. So it looks like everyone's piling into the van. Oh, all right. That'll be fun. I awesome. could use some blood, though, if we can stop on the way for that. Absolutely. Oh, I forgot to take a Cool. And did you and take if the someone time, could help. Uh, did you take the time to speak with Yamamoto about the mission that you were given? Uh, I would I would uh, briefly mention it to him, yeah. You're right. Yes, he just, just ask him if this is acceptable. He gave you the okay. Wonderful. So when you guys are all in the car, a uh, male twin definitely positions himself next to Hassan and starts, you know, cuddling up with him. Mm. Want you. I allow it. Mmm. <laughs> haram. Woohoo! That's uh, haram, my friend. I don't really reciprocate, but I allow it. Uh, the female twin uh, sits next to Jean and starts cuddling up with him. Hmm. Uh, hold on just a I second. Will, oh, I noticed that. I will attempt to uh, maneuver out. <laughs> uh, you're in a pretty packed little van. Well, you're just like, uh, bear it. You're sitting on one seat, and then she takes the middle seat. She doesn't even go over to the uh, the one over on the side, so she's right next to you. Well, I guess I just have to bear it then. Yep. Okay. And then, of course, the way I'm picturing it is, like, Jean and female twin in the back, Hassan and male twin in the middle, and then uh, Joseph driving with the, the pack priest in the uh, shotgun. That's fine for me. As per your position. Mm-hmm. As a hierarchy at work. As a hierarchy at work. Alrighty. Sounds cool. Alrighty. I'm on a Mexican radio. So, first things first, uh, we should feed. That's what the uh, female twin calls out to you. Yes, I'll look over at Joseph and see if he can, if he'll help me with either dominate or knock somebody out. Yeah, we could definitely go somewhere and feed. All right. Wonderful. Wonderful. So, you start uh, kind of cruising the streets, and the twins are on the lookout, and at one point they yell you to stop and pull over. And I do so. All right. As you're walking by, they point out someone and then say, that one. Go get him, Joseph. And it's uh, just a person walking down the street. It looks like a middle-aged man. He's wearing a suit. He's carrying a briefcase. Um, alright, um, I'll go dominate him. Alright. What do you dominate him to do? Um, just to follow me, and then I'll, like, erase his memories of getting dominated. Well, are we about to kill him? Uh, Lysia is going to object to any killing. Really? 
Okay, so yeah, I'll just dominate him to follow me and erase his memories of getting dominated. All right, manipulation plus leadership. That is six. All right. So as you kind of look deep into eye into his eyes, he kind of looks back at you and then says, "No." And then he turns and starts walking away again. Uh, right. mm. So the female twin okay. runs up to you and then whispers in your ear, Get him, Joseph. You have to hurry. Can't let him get away. Yo, is this like a fucking vampire song? <laughs> you don't know, do you? Uh, hey, I'm about to try to put him in a chokehold. If he kicks my ass, you know, <laughs> best believe I'm going to get back in his car. I'm just going to drive away. So she starts going and starts arranging things with Jean. She tells you to get into the front seat and, you know, get ready to drive and pull up alongside as Jean, as Joseph takes care of this guy. Well. She tells you to get into the front seat and drive alongside as Joseph takes care of this guy. Hmm, He's going to need to okay? grab him, pull him in the van, and then you guys are going to need to make off. So I'm going to help with a kidnapping. You're gonna save someone. What? How? She says you're gonna save someone. How is the same thing? That's what we call a murder these days. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph's like, oh, but no, wait, that conflicts with your path. You're actually not saving them. So, she says, it's very complicated. As a member of your rather limited clan, I don't expect you to understand. But... We're going to save him. So, as priests, do I know what path they're on? Um, you would know that they are both on the path of Cathari. So they're both on the... Okay. So they're, still, they're with us. They're with Joseph and us. So I'm curious as to how they're thinking they're going to... Anyway, so do you do it, John? Uh, how much do I trust? Uh, I don't know. You have to look at your vinculum. Uh, <laughs> that's that's exactly what I'm doing. Uh, six. I don't know. Do I trust her, Zach? Um, I don't know. It's kind of, you're right in that middle area where it's, you do definitely have good feelings towards her. But, um, uh, she does seem to be earnest. She seems to be earnest. Sean doesn't know what path she's on. Maybe I should start trusting these guys a bit more often. You're going to need allies against Joseph at some point, so. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, all right, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> completely turns on you. All right. No, that will never happen. Ever. <laughs> so, you going to uh, choke this guy out, Stalworth? Okay, you're going to need help to save Haru. Yep. All right. Yes, thank you, Mary. Give me a dexterity plus brawl. Yeah. That is so. All right. Oh, yeah, you put this guy in a headlock. And he starts kind of trying feebly struggling against you, but obviously... <laughs> no chance. So you throw them into the back of his van as they pull up. And then as soon as uh, you guys start driving away, the female twin gets right into his face and says, We won't allow you to hurt anyone ever again, you monster. Okay. Well, what do you do? Yeah. I'm going to be like, uh, explain yourself. Um... Says... I just have a bad feeling about him. Oh my god. But, but I trust my bad feelings. Well, in that case. Well. I should blood bottom. <laughs> well, um, like, so, but. <laughs> I'm just, I'm trying to reconcile this with the path of Cathari. So if he is corrupt, why. Why stop him? Hmm. He is corrupt in a bad way. How bad? 
How bad does it get? Infernalism. Oh, yeah. He is an infernalist. Definitely. How do we know? Break open his briefcase. I'm sure there'll be evidence of infernalism inside. I mean, I'll rip that shit open. <laughs> you carry around evidence of infernalism in your briefcase. So she, yeah, so uh, obviously with like five strength and two potents, you just pop this thing open. Um, <laughs> so yeah, inside there are a bunch of papers. It looks like financial documents. You can analyze them with a um, intelligence plus finances, whoever would be best at that. Sean, <laughs> you're driving, but you should pull over. Maybe. Is he gone? John? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, he's gone. It's all right. I'm sure someone else in the party has finances. Nope. Uh, <laughs> uh, finances is a are you thing. sure? It's alright, I'm sure someone here has a high intelligence. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, we're all just... In dummies. character, out of character. <laughs> we're all just dummies. Alright, so I guess we're waiting for Jean to come we're back then. We're waiting for Jean, who is... Um, that five strength and five dexterity has some sacrifices. You know, he's he's a brawn. He's he's a, you know, he's brawn, not brave. You, I've noticed. He's not stamina. We know no, that. Doesn't have a lot of endurance. That is true. He he's kind of a one hit one. But on that first strike. But that but he knocks him out on that first strike. So you know. Eventually, um, anyway, but there's no just obvious evidence of infernal. No, there's no like pentagram, just just like picture of Satan and yeah. him worshiping at the you know the the goat of a thousand young or whatever. Yeah, you don't see anything like that. Okay, so I'm no Bali seal of approval. Yeah, I, I'm gonna look at her and be like, seriously, it's in the documents. Read the documents. So I, as you're I'm, looking at this, yeah, like, I'll look at him. I'm like, and... it's not like it says I am Bali on here. <laughs> says, don't you know anything about finances? No. You have been accepted into Clan Bali. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a membership fee? <laughs> well, even infernalists need money. Hmm, seems here that there's a big donation to an LU cipher. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, oh. is David back yet? Yay! All right. Hello. So Intelligence plus finances. Yeah, you got to pull over. Intelligence plus finances. finances. Oh boy, why? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the female twin has accused this guy of being an infernalist. So Joseph just popped open his briefcase for evidence, but it's a bunch of financial documents. Uh, none of these guys understand. You ask him if he knows how to. All right. Well, my intelligence plus finance is five. I love when finance gets used. Yeah. So you start looking through this guy's documents, um, and they look kind of like just regular uh, business documents to you. Although, as you're looking through the expenses, you do see there uh, do seem to be some odd things. Um, it looks like he's been using um, this look like company finance, but it looks like he's been using them for things that aren't really like company business, like buying things from art galleries and things. You can find things. Yeah, we got them now. Okay. Okay, so he's... Dig in! <laughs> he's stealing funds for paintings. That doesn't mean infernalism. Doesn't it? What kind of paintings is he getting? Probably infernalist paintings. <laughs> Are there some things? <laughs> Are... Probably. Probably. I'm sure you'd know it if or you maybe, saw it. But he's maybe he's just stealing funds for his own pleasure, and he likes art. Well, I'm sure he does like the art, the infernalist art, on account of his infernalism. <laughs> if he was an infernalist, he would not have allowed us to capture him. Well, I mean, 
to be fair, Joseph did choke him out pretty quick. I mean, he's not a vampire infernalist. He's a human infernalist, and she pokes at him. He's still unconscious, right? But yeah, he's out. Okay. He's probably just one of those guys that, you know, sold his soul for money or something. Is there While this is going on, can me and someone else just go and, like, get a point up left for my homeless dude or whatever? Um, there aren't really any homeless people around where you are. Let's take this dude. I, is that I sure? I was going to say, you, we could take two points safely. So. Yeah, I'll take one point then. Or you could take everything. <laughs> I'll take one point then. We are not going to kill needlessly until we have absolute proof of infernalism. So far, this guy just seems And then we will kill, kill needlessly. <laughs> <laughs> well, then yeah. it's not yeah. kill needless. And then we will indulge. Um, so, uh, so I can I take one point of blood from him? Yes. As Thank you. Pack leader, I need to hold the example here on the path of Cathari. All right. Um, and, and no, we will not. All right. I guess if you want to waste time, we'll go to his house, break in, and then find the art, and then we can see whether or not it's infernalist. Yeah, Excellent. Let's do that. Fine. And then, because he probably, I bet. And then she looks at his hand, and you can see he's got a ring. I bet his wife's an infernalist, too. We can kill her at the same time. Ooh, true. So, <laughs> here's actually something I could do. Mm -hmm. uh, could I do... You could sense his <laughs> sin to figure out if he's an infernalist. <laughs> sense oh, his sin. Could I do... No, could I ask Max Street on the documents? Oh. Um, I, actually, see if... I actually will look at John mm -hmm. and be like, do you sense anything, John? Well, I can ask tree the documents to see who's been handling them, if they've been Since trading our hands. All right. John's demonic power, which I don't think I've shared. Well, before. I mean, do you know how sense the sin? No, but you've told me you have demonic powers, and I'm going to assume you can sense demonic powers in others. That seems like a jump of in logic right there. I mean, you're the Auspex psychic, you're the so Auspex not really. You're the Auspex psychic guy. That's what Auspex does. Now that's you told someone, me you've had... impressive intuition you got there. Whatever. Yeah. Auspex lets you do anything. It's the best. Anyway, so since the sin is when you look at people, right? So yeah. as long as I'm just Auspexing the docs, I can't use it by accident in theory. All right. So uh, give me a perception plus empathy. Perception plus empathy is... Seven with a specialty. And I am trying, and I am trying actively to suppress any urges, demonic powers. All right. So yeah, you open yourself up to this, and you start leaping through, and it feels—I don't know—it does feel weird looking at some of the financial sheets. Um, it is there aren't any really strong emotions tied to almost any of them because it's just work stuff. Um, mm -hmm. But some of them, you do feel a presence, and it's not his presence. It seems to be something, it doesn't even feel human to you. Okay. I will let the guys know with this. There's a, some sort of supernatural involvement, maybe. Maybe. But yeah, that's about it. Hmm. And do I, do I sense any, like, infernalism? Because usually, like, when we went to the woman's house, we could feel the... Well, the that's that's stuff. Mount Royal in general. The entire yeah. neighborhood, like, everything on the mountain feels that bad. Right. So it's not like you sensed it from her. You sensed it from the mountain. Right. But I was saying, we I do know what infernalism is feels like. I but if he were an infernalist, you wouldn't sense it that. It wouldn't be enough. I'm saying, like, okay. the mountain seems to be a source of some bad mojo itself. So where does this guy live? Uh, does he, he live on the mountain? He lives uh, downtown in an apartment. Alright. Alright, well, let's go. I mean, we're gonna need more than this guy to feed us anyway. If they do happen to be infernalists, we'll at least have two then. Yeah, it's a good point. It's a good point. Yeah. And if they're not infernalists, I'll have his wife. <laughs> uh, Joseph? <laughs> As a blood bonded slave. Yes, yes. We'll just okay. take her, make sure no one recognizes her. This is a true to her into a man, obviously. And then okay. let the good times roll. Okay. We're corrupting people, not killing them, Joseph. Yes, I, I was not planning on killing her. Okay. Just, you know, 
use in there a little bit. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. I don't have any problem with that. All right. It's going to be hard to control. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, so you guys, you find his home address in the papers, so you guys head right there. All right. It's not too far away. It looks like he might have been walking home. Hmm. So, you guys heading out. What are you going to do with his unconscious form while you do this? It is well, an apartment building. There is, like, a doorman. Um, oh. Wow. Should I just obfuscate and see if I can get in that way? Um. Yeah, that's what I didn't know. I think we're going to take him in. I would go to vicissitude him so I can get away. All right, you can do that. So just take away his mouth, hands, and feet. <laughs> All right. Disarm. Just. <laughs> yeah, wake up and I will put these will back later if you're good. If you're good. Um, yeah, so he's unconscious when we do this. So he'll, right. just, he'll wake up in a panic, but it'll be fine. It's all right. He can't say anything, so. Can't. And he can't go anywhere. And he can't manipulate anything. And okay. All right. So you just leave him in the van. So who all is going inside? Well, Hassan is the obvious choice because he can obfuscate. Yeah. Um, Jean probably looks the most normal. <laughs> normal. Um, I can um, dominate the woman. And he can, and you can dominate the doorman too, to let you in. So. Looks like he's our front one then. So. Um, so is everyone going in? Um, yeah, we should probably all go in. Sure. Shouldn't at least someone watch the car? I can keep the car running. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> Although, I don't know, maybe in, in fairness, because if there's an investigation need, going I was on. I say, if it's art. We yeah, you're investigating him. art. We need him. Uh, Lizia could stay. Investigating in art. This is like the Venn diagram. This is the tiny sliver where they over. <laughs> Jean. So I, I really think Jean should go. I can stay in the car. All right. And hang out. That works too. Well, actually, I don't know. You might. I mean, you're a bit expertise in uh, demonism, right? No, you're the expert because you have the demon powers. Yeah, but you've got occult knowledge. All right, you're the one who's actually educated in, in, in occultiness. Joseph also has some occult knowledge. And I, I will. Do. And I will whisper to Joseph to keep an eye on Jean. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you say, Father Alicia. Thank you. <laughs> and I'll stay in the car, but with an open like texting, like I want right. to be able to I want to be able to hear and okay. see. So put me on a video call or something. Alright, so you guys head inside. So the doorman does try and stop you. If you're gonna dominate him, then I'm gonna need a wits plus subterfuge. That is. Seven. Okay. Furious typing going on. Yeah, oh, sorry, I should have changed to push the talk. <laughs> it's fine. All right. So yeah, you uh, remove his memories of all of this, so he has no idea what's going on. Okay. And you guys head up into the uh, the floor the apartment is on, and then you uh, start heading down the hall, and you find the door leads inside. Okay. And the what group just doing? stands around and, looking at it. And Joseph and Hassan and John just stare at it. Um, wait, oh, the dude's up there with us? Uh, no, the no, dude is still in the car. He's in the van okay. with Alicia. Oh, I'll go, at the door. I'll go sleuthing around for his wife. Well, you're going to have to get through uh, the front door say, first. Is the door it locked? is locked. Ah, uh, yes. Do you want to mm -hmm. knock on the door and just... Probably not breaking I'll, the door is there maybe neighbors? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll knock on the door, but um, I'll make sure that the other people with me aren't near me. You know, because it'd be weird to see three people at the door in the dead of night. Only well, see two. Hassan's obfuscate. Well, actually, there's actually, like four because the twins are with them as well. Oh, the twins are with them as well. Okay. Um. Uh, so they. Well, Malto. 
Yeah. All right. So you knock on the door, and after a little bit, a woman who's kind of a middle-aged uh, housewife opens it. And I immediately uh, change her memories to being my willing slave. All right. So manipulation <laughs> <Okay>. plus leadership. <laughs> wow. Wow. That is That is uh six. Do what I say. Alright. <laughs> this is this is like a found footage movie for you. Mm-hmm. And the monster just got the girl, so <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Jesus Christ, Star. Yeah, you uh basically sorry, I'm planting orders in her and you get her to you're not gonna be able to make her your full slave, like oh, instantly, but you got her to let you in, and you know, you're inside her head. Around. Yeah, excellent. Our best friends. So you guys are all able to shuffle inside. Okay. All right. All right. Um, is there, is there yeah. Start here? Yeah, then I'll start barking questions at her. You know, infernalist art. You worshiping the devil. <laughs> <laughs> all right so you do your interrogation um there is some art inside the apartment um the female twin immediately goes over into it and says i told you what is it is it like dogs playing poker um it, it is a, there are some it does look like weird kind of existentialist art uh but john really could possibly okay. determine more with an intelligence plus academics And Sean's left us again. Well, that would be... Fuck off, Mary. Give me a chance, yeah? <laughs> Five. All right. Yeah, as you're analyzing this stuff, something catches your eye. And it's a zen piece of art. Um, and as you check the artist on it, it's done by Zhu. <gasps> it's done by Zhu? Huh. Told you. <laughs> okay. Uh. Well, what are the ramifications of that? Hold up. Does that mean he's part of the? They're part of the Inquisition. I was gonna say that could be because that's who was doing the Jew things. But I'm well, these guys seem it. like they're human. The Inquisition does yeah. not employ humans. But we know we're looking for Jew art. We need this painting. It's true. So, well, an infernalist had the last one. Well, if you assume the old woman was an infernalist. I was assuming that she wasn't necessarily an infernalist. She was just living in the infernalist neighborhood. But it does have to deal with infernalism, so. Hmm. Maybe they're attempting to figure out what we know. Could be. Alrighty, well... Anyway, it is definitely a Jew piece. It's a Jew piece. What's that mean? That's, uh, what, that's what, we, what we were looking for in the woman, in the old woman's house. Yeah, but that, what's that got to do with this guy? How does that prove they're infernal? Well, it doesn't necessarily prove they're infernalists. Now Lizzie is more interested in the piece of art. Mm-hmm. All right, fine. What do I think of the piece of art? Um, it does look, um, I mean, it's definitely a striking piece. It's very well made. What um, if I do an aspects on it? All right. Um, so give me a perception plus empathy. Seven with a specialty. All right, you discover the person who made it was definitely a vampire, but other than that, he was definitely trying to hide his thoughts and was doing it very well, so you really can't tell anything other than that the artist was a vampire. Hmm. So, anyway... So, Lizzie... you was a vampire. Yeah. So, um... So, Lizzie is going to ask you to... get to take that piece. We're, we're, we're stealing the piece. We're just taking it. It's ours now. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we should, uh, I could tell, uh, housewife to, uh, take it down and, you know, wrap it up safe for us and we can go rants, not ransack, but 
look through the house for any valuables, or just ask her where, where the valuables are. <laughs> is that not what Ren? Is that not what Ren's thing is? <laughs> well, I figured that'd be a little bit more violent. And if we're just asking her, we're just gonna, it's gonna be more like we pull out the drawers, take the stuff, put the drawers back in, just so the he's stuff is gone. Gonna, he's gonna keep it clean. He's, he doesn't want to have to clean up the house afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll have a pack of a knapsack, you know, since um, she won't be here anymore. All right. So give me someone. Give me a uh, perception plus investigation to search the house. Um, uh, I have five. Can anyone beat that? Obviously. Seven with a specialty. Well, there we go. So I guess you're going to be the one helping him with this uh, robbery then. So as you're kind of looking around for valuables, <laughs> I mean, while you're here. Um, you do, uh, find something kind of weird. One of, actually, as you're walking around, there's kind of like a squeaky floorboard, and then as you are examining it closer, it feels weird. With your aspects, you definitely know that it feels weird. And then you pull it up, and there's actually a hidden compartment underneath. Ooh, what's in there? Well, well am I getting, uh, vibes of evilness? Um, yeah, you actually are. Inside, um, there seems to be, uh, like, a an implement, some sort of knife, um, and it does seem to be caked with, uh, blood. Oh, uh, lads, we might actually have something here. <laughs> Alrighty, then. Mm. The dagger oh, itself is steel encrusted and, uh, looks very valuable. And uh, evil. Alright, okay. Alright, so, alright. So that's enough for Lysia. These people are infernalists. <laughs> that's enough for Lysia. Yep. Take the remaining nine blood points. <laughs> Take the remaining, yeah, I, you know, I'll... I'll like, yeah, you're dead. Okay, so... Oh, so we can so, kill him now? Um, so, yeah, infernal. Well, I don't know that the woman's infernalist, but... This I mean, definitely. she's but living in the there, house. So I'm gonna assume that she's been tainted. So, yeah, we'll have to... I will say just, will say yeah, basically, spiritually speaking... Based on what you know of your yeah, role, but, you know she's she's probably you're already at risk. You don't want to be like, yeah, oh exactly. maybe. So yeah, I, I will okay. give the go ahead. Okay. Yes, they're they're tainted. Yes, we should clean house. Uh, take can we valuable, take what valuables you can? Uh, bring her down here because, uh, well, I don't know. Uh, we probably want to get rid of the bodies. Can we question her uh, a little bit to see if she has any infernalist uh, friends or something that you know might come through and be uh start you know trying to find out who took her mm -hmm. all right um yeah okay so uh give me a couple of things first off give me a manipulation plus leadership that is six all right and uh then give me a self-control that is two all right not as high <laughs> So as you guys kind of are hanging out, sort of questioning this lady, you start dominating her and asking her about the, uh, you know, the demon worship. And um, she is just kind of mesmerized and starts talking about how there are many others and that um, among them uh, she has seen many sorts of demons, even personified in the flesh. And then she starts to look at you kind of quizzically, uh, Joseph. And that's when you feel uh, your beast start to rage inside you. And then... Oh, shit. You guys see that she's like, in fact... And then that's when uh, Joseph just freaks out, basically grabs her, throws her down, and just now starts to just drain her. Perspective. It looked like she was about to say something, and then Joseph wanted to silence her very quickly. It mm. does seem like it. It was pretty instantaneous. Mm. Uh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Well, so how much blood I'm getting off of this? Um, unless, well, no one is going to successfully pull you off her. <laughs> um, 
I but, will attempt to, well, I mean... <laughs> Okay, yeah, the right thing to do is to try to stop it. Alright, you can try. I mean, if you want to, for roleplaying purposes, try. Even though I know it's, uh... His potence is higher than your strength, so you don't succeed. Okay, yeah, I mean, you know, there's... You know, who was it that made, uh... I'm gonna gonna try as well. I'm gonna try as well. Is that Aristotle? (laughs) So... Um, the other thing is, you could, other people could try and dive in and take some of the blood before he steals it all as well. <laughs> and that I'm gonna is, try and pull him off as well, alongside the show. That is, oh, thank you, all right, friend. so you guys are trying to pull off Joseph. The twins just go for it, and they also start to take some as well. Wait, for fuck's sake. So. Brothers! <laughs> Come on. We have the proof we need, the female twin declares, and, and then bites and into do. him. So, Joseph is able to get uh, four blood points, whereas they are able to get three. That's, a, that's how much I have at the moment. Well, you should have jumped in. We could have found out more. Hey, there's another one down something. in the van. Lizia's taken a few off of him while you guys Yeah, so here. am I. So am I. But I'll, I'll save some for you. I think that oh, oh, the you. bloods of so... these kinds of people is actually advisable, to be honest. That, that is a good oh, why not? Do you have experience with this type of blood? I mean, yes, it's, yes. Just, it's no, I think it's pretty intuitive, guys, that like people who have stuff to do with demons, you should be eating part of them. Joseph, you feel fine so far. Of course. I'm, I'm a good person. You feel <laughs> great. <laughs> You're loving this. <laughs> it had to be done. They were infernals. They were. All right. So well, and there's still, there's still some in the guy. I only took a couple of points just All right. to keep myself uh, from being too hungry. Okay. So I think he still has about seven left. Yeah, he should have seven left yeah. in him. Um. Anyway. So anyway, so be sure and get the Zhu painting, um, and just take whatever valuables you can. And then come downstairs, and let's leave. All right. So, are you guys going to grab the dagger? Well, that's a bit of evidence, isn't it? It is evidence. It's evidence. I like the way he said, "Grab it." I feel like one of us gonna grab it and it's gonna get infected with demons or some shit. Uh, I'm grabbing it. I'm grabbing it. Her talk in her blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, Up and now, Joseph is paranoid. <laughs> I didn't have a choice in the matter. He was steering into the curve on that one. He was steering into the curve. Um, I, I was really so delighted you have an excuse to drink it all. <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> it's on its Wait a second. I'm going to advise you not to touch Guys. the dagger. Mm-hmm. Wait, so did you got? Did they all drain this woman of blood? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, she's drained. She's exsanguinated. Well, was she vampiric? They diablerized her. She's not a vampire. She's just a human. Can you diablerize a mortal? Mm-mm. No. You why can't. not? Why not? You know, you're drinking the soul of a vampire. Why can't you drink the soul of a human? Uh, human souls just don't work that way. Because oh, human well, vampire good. souls are trapped within their actual blood. That's part of the curse. Human oh, souls just go sense. free once go free once they die. Yeah, sure, that makes sense. Yeah, man. But anyway, Come on. so uh, I would I would advise you Talk not. You. I would advise you not Talk to touch you. the dagger. <laughs> Drinking corrupted blood is fine. <laughs> she was just a human. Yeah, the blood wasn't corrupted. Yeah, so it works differently. Okay. Than um. But I mean, don't you touch can get drunk from drinking the blood of a human who's just drunk some alcohol. Yeah, but that's chemicals. Evil yeah, isn't okay, a chemical. But you can't be cursed by a human who literally consorts with demons. Alright, yeah. But, but human spirituality isn't corporeal. Yeah, it was her soul that was stained. Alright, well. And the soul went off I to hell. I you're right. <laughs> well, you'll see when Joseph is either fine or he isn't. 
You'll see when he becomes more brazenly evil. Well, both you and Joseph are corrupted, so, you know. Well, he's... Corrupted? He's uh, evil. Says the guy with demon powers. Conniving? He's evil, but he's not infernalist evil. Right. Yeah. Demiurge, corruption, evil, which is well, good. Well, I'm not really sure because she was about to say something. That's a good point. <laughs> so I wonder what she was still about not to sure say. About the whole Saint Castine thing here. It's true. It's true. So there's, some, there's some. There's some play there. So Lizia kind. Of, she's conflicted about you, Joseph. Like, you just run the mouth. <laughs> <you know. laughs> conflicted about both Jean and Joseph. Anyway, nobody touched the dagger. That's Lizia's, um... Well, I mean, someone has to bring it out to the van. Then find, a, like, scoop it into a bag or something and carry the bag, but don't touch the dagger directly. All right, well, I, I recommend one of the guys who was just all over the evil woman might as well be all over this fucking man. <laughs> there is, like, a dagger, or not a... <laughs> there's a dagger. Uh, there's also a, like, a towel in the kitchen if you want to just use that to wrap it up. I don't know, it's a towel's curse. <laughs> it is an infernalist <laughs> towel. <laughs> it's got a big pentagon. You no, you, you, wrap, you wrap the towel up in a towel of her own first. Ah. Yeah. Genius. If only so, you had a turban or something, Hassan, we could unwrap your turban uh, and use that. I'm not wearing a turban, know, I'm wearing a scarf. Uh, well, <laughs> if you would like to use my scarf, you may do so. I said if only. Of course you have a scarf. Why do you have a scarf and not a turf and what the fuck? How do you think he meets all the Scarves are cool. <laughs> yeah. It's like the cool. fedora. You're such an anime He's got an I ass swear ass to God. I know. He's got <laughs> it, Do you wear it like, do you wear it like unwound and just long so it comes down to like waist No, level? no, there's some. Um... Yeah, the slightest breeze and it gets flowing. <laughs> <gracefully>. <laughs> no, no, not like that. It's a, uh, what do you call a type of scarf? Uh, no, 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 hang on. I'll, I'll show you a picture. An anime scarf. <laughs> uh, uh, whatever, fuck it. Think whatever you want. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I know you are. You keep you remember, doing it. It's fine. Do you remember mm. in Resident Evil 4, like, the alternate outfit that you can get for, like, Gangster Leon? That's what I imagine uh, Hassan dressing as. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> He's got, like that, a, he's got like a scarf thing. It's, it's a I'm thing. imagining like a Middle Eastern looking um, a main character from Sword Art Online. Ah. No. <laughs> the thing right. I based him off right. kind wrap of up, was... Wrap, uh, up, wrap up the dagger. Wrap and up the dagger. The wrap up the scarf. <laughs> wrap, it, wrap it up in the scarf and then bring it out to the van. Alright, who is actually holding it within the scarf? Not I. I, I can do it. But the guy right. I based him off kind of was this one. Okay. See so you guys. Uh, head downstairs. Are you doing something? Are you just leaving the body we there? Got the pain. I mean, we probably better not be dragging a dead body. Yeah, back. you're gonna have a hell of a hard time getting her out of there. Yeah. So we'll probably just leave her there. Get the, be sure and get the painting though. Any valuables. And any valuables. All right. So you managed to loot about. Uh, eight hundred dollars in cash, and you also find uh some jewels around in addition to okay. the thing. Awesome. Hassan still has his jewels. You guys have a lot of jewels you could pawn at some point. Okay. Awesome. Wait, what jewels do I have? Remember when you broke into that hotel in like episode two? Have you not given those? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> you still have them <laughs> yeah. in your pocket. Because this, the, all of this, if Lizia's here, she, this is all going into the, this is all going to Yamamoto to, uh, for the pack. Yeah, this is pack money. So. Well, uh, was Lizia up there when we was taking shit? <laughs> she was I, on video call. I was on video call. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> so. Joseph can't have money. shit for himself. Mm. Um, you know. You, you've got plenty of goals. Well, <laughs> yeah, you another goal. That's true. Very true. So, anyway. Alright. So you guys come back down to the car. Do you guys finish feeding on this guy? So, yeah, there's seven points left on the guy if anybody wants him. I mean, we have to kill him anyway. No, interrogate him first. 
You want to wake him back up? Yeah. All right. But still, don't give him his mouth. Just ask him why he still has no mouth. <laughs> what? And take take his silence as a hold on, hold on, hold on. of guilt. Before we wake him up, can we scare him a little bit? <laughs> I Wait, feel like on. he's scared. Someone farther away. How do you scare no, someone yeah. farther away? <laughs> no, no, I mean, so if he's gonna wake up vicissituted like you did, <laughs> and but, you, but I, was, <laughs> I was thinking we could vicissitude his wife's body and take her head, and then Jesus when he wakes Christ up, we go. No, we're not, we're not going back up. His wife's body is in the is in the apartment. You left it there dead, so we don't have uh, okay. So no, he's already vicissitated, <laughs> so he can't move. That'll probably be terrifying enough for him. All right. All right. <laughs> so you weren't giving these helpful pieces of advice when they were torturing you. Uh, you know, I don't know. He hadn't blossomed. As well. He hadn't blossomed, blossomed yet. yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, he wakes up and he starts, you know, trying to speak, uh, although his mouth is vicissituted. Well, I will unvicissitude his mouth. All right. So, uh, he starts looking around and then he, he sees Joseph, the one who tried to dominate him earlier, and he says, you know, my lord, forgive me, I did not recognize you. Hold up, um, does he- He, think, he thinks you're Saint Castine. Ah, yes, 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 Saint Castine, that character. <laughs> <laughs> Calling out my character. He has been vicissituted back to look like himself, although possibly you guys thought that Saint Castine may have vicissituted to make himself look like Joseph as well, so. Well, yeah, oh, this is confusing. Yeah, you're right. He probably did some stuff while he looked like me and- Tarnished my good name. Joseph says to the assembled pack. <laughs> yeah. They know I'm a good person. Because I'm not an infernalist. <laughs> but, uh... <clears throat> um... Should I... Should I try to refute this, or should I just try to roll with it and try to get him to tell tell us more while he still thinks that I'm uh, his lord? I don't know. I mean, you're going to have to decide. I mean, he's right there, so you don't really have time to talk with anyone else about it. True. Okay, so this is the way I see this going. I can see myself just trying to get more information out of him, and then the people around me being like, oh, so this dude really is St. Castine. Mm -hmm. And, you know... I'm gonna have to explain for the next like five episodes how I'm uh, <laughs> how, how I'm not Saint Castine. Okay. <laughs> or right. you could silence his lying mouth permanently by just letting the beast go. You no, know, I feel like that's even more suspicious. Because <laughs> because I did that I did. In, uh, earlier, <laughs> and they looked yeah. at me funny. Yeah. So doing um, it twice is just. Mm. <laughs> but supposedly we all know, right, that St. Castine looked like Joseph and Joseph looked like St. Castine. So yeah. There's some doubt here. <laughs> there's a little, there's a shadow. A shadow. There's a shadow of doubt. Press X for doubt. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, all right, I'll get on my best uh, manipulation and all that to say yes. Yes, my... Uh, my servant? <laughs> uh, yes, my like... peon. Tell me all that you know of... What? Yes. What? Tell me all that you have done since we last met. I have sought to serve you in every way I can. I, uh, I acquired the painting that you wanted. I see. Yes, you have. <laughs> And I am very appreciative. No, no, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> yes, you have. You have performed <laughs> adequately. And so, then I'm going to... Does he realize he's, like, vicissitude right now? Um. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's figured that out. Oh, okay. He just don't care. Hmm. Well, I mean, he's, you know... He's surrounded he's by, like, seven after all. Uh, vampires that are... Yeah, he's... He's, he's, <laughs> he's trying to make the best of a bad situation. He's just being... Okay, so I'll tell him... 
Now, give me a full update on how you acquired this uh, painting. Uh, you came to us and you you described it to me. Uh, you said it was similar. Uh, it would be similar to the one that your pack uh, helped you find. And then I went out uh, to the to the galleries. And I I acquired it. So helped you find when we robbed the uh, old woman. Hm. I see. And, uh... <laughs> Should have just killed him. And, uh... Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking out of character right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because you're in some, 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 some deep, some deep, uh, some deep doo-doo there. Um. All right. So, well, so what you know, Stalworth, is that your sire is still going around impersonating you. Yes, yes, indeed. Ah, <laughs> um, uh, my sire's pack has also acquired a painting. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Shifty <yeah>. eyes. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I mean, you're in it now. You gotta just go with it. And, uh... Oh, okay. All right, he's got and I look through his memories. Um, you can uh, try and do that. Yeah, it would be another wits plus subterfuge. Uh, let's do it. All right. All right. All right. That'll be seven. Okay. All right. And obviously, I'm gonna have to send you a text of what you find because I can't say it out loud for everyone else here. Oh, All man. right. And then we're going to see what uh, what Stalworth actually tells us. And then we'll see what he tells you. Indeed. Huh. I'm so glad you took that flaw, Stalworth. <laughs> that that uh, cacophony of flaws. Yeah. Little did I know. Oh, yeah, you don't give Zach, you know, opportunities <laughs> like this. I tried to give you a chance to just kill him immediately. But you didn't take it. You know? I tried to... Don't you succeed. Alright. Had you killed him immediately again, we would have been like, okay. I was trying to be inquisitive. I was trying to help out the pack. Uh -huh. Inquisitive. <laughs> So eventually, you're going to have to hunt down your sire. And, uh, I mean, we all Saint know he's St. Custine. Well, hey, 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 hey. You're hey, going to hey. have to hunt down your child. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, you need to get your doppelganger out of the picture. You want yourself. You no, Let's I know, look at... I, well, I know what his character flaws are, so I know he needs to hunt down his sire. No, but like, only character Well, the we thing is, is you know that he has a mistaken identity, it. but you don't know that that means that he's not St. Oh, Castine. But doesn't he have something with his sire, too? Hey, he <laughs> does uh, have a sire that doesn't like him, although that could be completely unrelated to this. <laughs> In character, I'm pretty sure we think at the moment he's St. Castine, right? Well, well uh, that Lysia is she she's very conflicted. She's very conflicted about both you, Jean, and Joseph. She really Why are you conflicted about me? Uh, about you're whether having I'm dreams a about signing your name in a book. Nah. I just had a vision that your human has corrupted you. Nah. Yeah. Yes, yes. I, I looked into his uh his memories and uh found that there was a man that uh that looked like me who did order his uh this man to go find a uh a Jew painting. We all <laughs> just stare at you. Really? <laughs> I see. Hmm. <laughs> but you know. Y'all know that uh Saint Ke yeah. Look, wait, 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 let's look at it like this, all right? <laughs> if I really was St. Castine, who was an infernalist, the Inquisition would have killed me. 
I mean, they're fallible. Nah, I, I, just, I feel like they'd just kill me. Like, I, I, I feel like they're not that inept to have an Infernalist right in front of them. Maybe so that's I'll, just because it suits you. Rizzani, at the man. moment. Well, not that I can either trust either one of them. Good lord. Uh, yeah, John, do you want to try and read his aura? Uh, uh, yeah, read uh, my aura. <laughs> Uh, whoa, whoa, hold on there, Blocko. <laughs> Use your power! I what? don't know if I want to be looking into the auras of the Infernalist. I don't want to go blind. Never. I mean, you want to prove that I'm innocent. You have the so power. So is, is there any, is there any uh, sign of Infernalism in an aura? Um... I mean, it, if he's using Infernal's power, then yes. Um, otherwise, it would be harder to detect. Although you might find some traces. It's black. The whole thing turns black. Just an icky black. Of it's this. more like you would be able to tell if he is lying about what he saw in the guy's memories is probably the easier right, thing. Well, can I tell if he's just lying at the present moment? All right. That's give innocent me, enough. Give me a uh, perception plus empathy. Seven with a specialty, and I'm taking questions not to be demonish. So you start looking at him, and some of the things he's saying are definitely honest. Although when he starts talking about the Inquisition, you start getting the feeling that maybe he knows more than he's telling. Hmm? Like maybe, like, <laughs> maybe there's something there. <laughs> I love that. Hmm, what you came in with? <laughs> Conniving? <What>? No, <laughs> I'm not withholding any information. When he's what he's saying about the memories seems like it is true. You think? Yeah, he technically didn't lie when he said someone who looks like me. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good point. Um, but, uh, yeah, with the Inquisition stuff, something weird. Uh, I'll ask him about it. Because you never did tell us what the Inquisition wanted with you. Um, that's because they, uh, the leader dominated me. And I don't know what happened after that. She said, look into my eyes. I didn't really have a choice in the matter. Because, you know, I assumed if I did, she was going to kill me and all of you. So I looked into her eyes, and then I just didn't remember what happened afterwards. I remember walking back to y'all, and that was it. Mm. Well, oh. well, Zach, what do I think? Uh, it seems truthful, but when he says he doesn't remember anything, that kind of stands out to you. Are you sure you don't remember anything? Well, that was out of character. I was like a a few few sessions ago. Mm -hmm. uh, what what do I remember? You should be able to look through your previous messages that I sent you because I believe I described it to you in a message. Oh, oh my God! Using ignorance out of character, conniving, <laughs> a master of deception. <laughs> yes, it is on August twenty sixth uh, in our backlog. Ah, yes. Uh, she referred to me <laughs> Well, as, think uh, about whether or not how much you want to share, I guess. <laughs> no, no, say it all. Don't be <laughs> right now. <laughs> you don't have to tell them just because out of character we've revealed that you don't quite remember. I'm just, you know, you can uh, if you want to. I'm just saying. Okay, I, I, I'll, just, I'll just copy and paste. <laughs> well, he's, he's claiming he's going to copy paste, but if he takes longer than five seconds, like it's really not copy paste. If you want to, if you want to, just describe it to them. You can go for it. He's taking a very long time to copy paste something. He sure is. <laughs> Give me like twenty minutes to copy paste this. Nah, no, why do you rush to me? You know what? Actually, the audience can't even uh, see the copy yeah, paste. So just give us the description. Ah, okay, yeah. read it out. Yeah, she she just um she said she need to access my uh, repressed memories, and uh, after that, everything is just a fog. 
and uh, she tried to remove my memory, and that's it. That's that's all I remember. So she repressed some more memories. <laughs> and you repressed memories. Roll manipulation plus subterfuge. <laughs> Me? <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I can make you roll that. Sex you can. <laughs> Alrighty. So you have well, repressed I mean, memories. Well, I mean, we knew he had repressed memories, right? Did we? Do we think he's telling the truth? Um, he does seem to be coming clear. It's hard to tell whether... He is telling the truth when you said that that happened. Now, if that was the only thing he was withholding, it's impossible to say at this point. But, yeah. Actually, did we know he had repressed memories? I don't think he oh, did. I don't think we knew that he had repressed memories. <laughs> yeah, we do uh... now. I'm like, what do you have repressed... Uh, uh... This guy's a ticking time bomb. <laughs> <laughs> So you've got oh, repressed oh. memories all of a sudden. Uh, I mean, I'm sure I, I sure have I mentioned had, this before. <laughs> I'm sure I had these repressed memories for a while, but you know, if I can't remember them, I can't remember them. The beauty of Dominic. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Yes, but how do we know mm. you don't have some sort of instruction? Or that is going Secure to go order off order sixty six. Like, you know, some time and oh god, I don't trust any of these pack members. Well, I mean, you trust the assassin. Uh, <laughs> just... You trust the hired assassin. Come on. <laughs> you know. You know. Yeah, you just outbid everyone else, and you can trust them. You know, and the thing is, is when our pack, they come for us, they're gonna go for the Zamitsi, the one that's actually not the Infernalist. God damn it, enemy. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so. going down, and I'm taking you all with me. <laughs> it's a bad situation all overall. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do with this guy who just overheard you guys have this conversation? Anyway, well, he has to die, so... I mean, he wasn't going to live anyway. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, obviously. <laughs> Alright, so who's taking blood points? Not, not me. Uh, is everyone else full? Is this guy mortal as well? Yeah, he is mortal. Alright. Hassan, you grabbing any? Nah, uh, I'm, I'm good. Lizzie, you took some? Yeah. You take I'll, any more? I'll take, I'll take a couple more. All right. Well, I mean, I wouldn't mind indulging. I mean, I'm full, but... You're full, then. I'll take one more blood point. Okay. Uh, they're fine. Okay. All right, so you take one more so you can have the rest, the last six. Okay. Um, I am going to need a conscience roll from you. Me? Yes. Oh, well, then... Well, I guess... Okay, whatever. Uh, so, conscience is two. Alright, you pass. Actually, you're gonna need your humanity to start to lower before you can make this path I, transition, I know, so... I know, I know. I'm probably the most... Um, the and, uh, Hassan, I'm gonna need a conscience roll from you as well. From me? From one blood point? Uh, yeah. What's your, what's your current humanity? Four. Yeah, I'm gonna call for it because once again, you're gonna need to get lower anyway to switch to your path. So, oh, so I should be trying to get lower. So, um, you should try to get at least one lower. Yes, three is where you want okay, to get. Okay, well, and I did it's four. I pass. And pass. my conscience, conscience is two. All right. So you do uh, degenerate to uh, three humanity. Good. <laughs> All right, so You're keeping that uh pet happy. Oh yeah. All right, I'm so, doing my best. There we go. I don't know. She doesn't seem very happy to me. She didn't seem happy Look. to Jean. Just saying. Well, you don't know what happiness is. You know the thing I is. I asked others about this, and they <laughs> also did not believe that she appeared happy. The other thing, Hassan, that I gotta point out is that you know she didn't mention exactly what she was scared of during the day, but you do know that the person who seems most able to operate during the day is Jean. Yes. 
I'm just pointing that out. Yes. Damn, so John yes. is really evil. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, John and Joseph. I love that they're pointing fingers at each other. Like, like, <laughs> like this Joseph guy, I don't trust like, him. Do, uh, I don't he's trust got him. the creepy mascot and he's having the dreams. <laughs> you know, he's yeah. most stable to, you know. I love that you guys are going to be like, me and each other. Christ. And no one even knows it's really Hassan. <laughs> I am the one who's like around in my room during the day, and I never even <laughs> noticed. Just won't marry the black stars. <laughs> mm-hmm. I set right. a bunch of dagger into my own heart. <laughs> for myself as a sacrifice. <laughs> I didn't see this one coming. Alrighty. All right. Well, that's, that's like the demons. That's mission accomplished. That was it. We were supposed to just kill these infernals. Anyway, uh, no, as uh, soon as you're back in the car, uh, the female twin is like, all right, now we can do <laughs> what I wanted to come out here and do. Okay. Which was? Um, I, I was going to pick up some Halloween costumes. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. We need to get a book. <laughs> yeah, we can go to the library. I'm like, we need to go to the library. Well, uh, let's dispose of the body, obviously. <laughs> Could a Halloween <laughs> costume for me not just be my regular outfit? <laughs> I mean, you, with the, the it's scarf. It's dressing up. Uh, it, at least Actually, hold on. Yeah, I'll. Okay, Hassan. No, I'll, I'll just, I'll just, no, I'll just give uh, my outfit to Sean and I can wear his outfit. Ah, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying picturing this conversation happening as we're all kind of circling around this dead corpse. <laughs> well, you're all just. Oh, yeah, I wanted to get my Halloween costumes. Like, oh, we need to get our book. <laughs> well, we can go to the library. So let's in this stop at the river and the body. dump the body. Um, and then we'll go to get some Halloween costumes, and we will uh, get the library book. All right. So, uh, you guys stop off at, you know, Spirit Halloween. Uh So what exactly, what costumes do you guys want to go for? I am now a black male. (laughs) Yes. So I have to think about that. Cowboy. You're going to be Poe from the sequel trilogy of Star Wars. Mexican. Uh, I'm going to be, I'm going to be. American with a feather hat. I'm gonna be Jack Twist from Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> you look over at the twin. <laughs> Howdy, partner. Um, yeah, you know he may go for it. You guys could be, you guys could be cowboys. Um, I'll be the cow. He'll be the boy. I want one of those. I'll guys. be the cow. You be the boy. <laughs> oh my god. Um, milk me. <laughs> <laughs> Please do not, I have no more blood points. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Um. Why are we so funny? Why are we so uh, funny? No. We're just so funny, you know? Yeah. I guess. Anyway, I'm just going to get the paint and I'm going to do like the, the skeleton sort of thing. All right. I'm just going to get like a Jason mask. Or <laughs> Ah, uh, Michael yeah. Myers mask. Yeah, that's Why are we nice. dressing up? Halloween. It's Halloween. Is there like a vampire festival? Yes. yes. It's all Hallow's Eve. Oh. Oh. So yes, you need a costume, John. So what are you going for? A priest. <laughs> all right. <laughs> like a sexy priest or just the regular priest? No, nah, no, nah, regular. Or All a right. monk, are you going to do the whole... Yeah, you could find, like, a cowl to put on. I'll just do the the normal black clothes with the white collar. All right. You're not going to portray yourself as a penitent? That's all right. You don't nah. feel bad about the infernalism you're committing, so it would be misrepresenting mm-hmm. yourself. Hey, all right, fine. Maybe I should do that. <laughs> Hair shirt. Oops, sake. All right. All right, so we got, we're creating the village people. We've got a priest, we've got a voodoo person. We've got Michael Myers. He's already huge, so, like, mm-hmm. really, you just put on the mask and you're and good. Pretty much that's him. Oh, that's Michael Myers, all right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, psycho killer. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's somewhat fitting. And then, uh, Hassan, what are you going for? I'm going for a cowboy. The cowboy, all right. Yeah. Does does the male twin also do a cowboy? Uh, no, they do. Um, 
he dresses as the Mad Hatter, and then the female twin does Alice. It's appropriate. So, as we're looking at costumes, I'm, I'm going to ask her how she was able to tell that the guy was an infernalist just by looking at him. I told you, I had a bad feeling. Always trust your instincts. Always. How do you feel about Sean and Joseph? They're great. They're okay? Wait, let me check something. <laughs> What's her vinculum rate? <laughs> And if you're bloodbound to an infernalist, do you not notice? Not really. Cool. Um. Ah, uh, no, you don't notice. You don't notice that they're infernalists. You just like them. You just yeah, you won't them. notice that I'm an infernalist. You, well, I would notice that you weren't infernalist. <laughs> she has you noticed notice that I you are. I told you. No, I'm. I'm aware. Um, I just because yeah, I, I, I told you. Right. But. But what I'm saying is, this is this is why I'm so conflicted about Joseph. Even though the evidence seems to be pointing that he's an infernalist. I'm clearly an unwilling infernalist. Yeah, see, I just, I don't know that you have the well, ability. Well, the all right, so she says, uh, Jean is great. Uh, that stuff with Joseph was super suspicious, where he's <laughs> like... No, it was St. Castine. He did something exactly like what we did, which is why it sounds like me. And then he's like, or no, I, I was with the Inquisition. St. Castine could just know what we did. And he has repressed memories? Yeah. What the hell is okay. up with the repressed memories? Repressed okay. memories of being an infernalist? Actually, to be fair, he's probably not an infernalist. The Inquisition knows about his repressed memories. He's probably working for them. So I guess he is trustworthy. In so the he's an infernalism for them. sense, although he's that means he's an inquisitor, which is just as bad. No, fuck Joseph. All right. Yeah, but he's not an infernalist. Those some, those some strong words. <laughs> they are, aren't they? Fuck Joseph. Hmm. I say it every night and every morning before and after that, I, I wake up. I think he's trying to steal no my sleep. brother from me. Well, I'm glad you think Joseph about me before you wake up and go to sleep. <laughs> you see the way he cavorts about with that little plaything of his. He's obviously interested in attractive men, and my brother happens to have a very nice penis. Shit. That's true, but I've noticed a little bit <laughs> between your and Hassan. Oh. Just everyone immediately agrees? Yes, he does. That's, you know, that's, you know, I've also no, had some dealings with Hassan. Penis. Hassan you... also has a very nice penis. Um, but I think basically everyone in the pack knows that by this point. <laughs> he is very open to new experiences. He has a curved blade. So maybe she's just jealous because, um... No, I wonder if the male twin likes this is why I just am Lizia in her head now. I'm like, hmm, maybe the male twin likes Listen, I live by myself on a mountain. Not by myself, but I live by a bunch of dudes on a mountain so for like 14 years. Culture, and once you like, got there, you're like, let's drugs, have some sex with dudes. Oh, Basically, I'm, I'm appropriating the culture. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. That's very nice. <laughs> I love to appropriate other cultures. Um, Especially the, the homosexuality, the yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excuse true. me, bisexuality, come on, keep yeah, it consistent. That's true. Well, it's still, it's... Yeah. That's why she's concerned... It's the homosexuality that the Muslims would object to in the bisexuality. Yes, <laughs> I think that they, okay. they're okay with the other part. True. Fair enough, fair enough. Alright, well, anyway. That's just... Carol, <laughs> Alright. Interesting. So, can we get any... Can we find any books on Kabbalah? All right, so yeah, you head to the library and you're able to find, you know, there's a copy of the Zohar there. I mean, Montreal Library is pretty big, I mean, I imagine. Okay. So you're able to collect some religious tomes. Okay. Three-week reading period, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. You guys can head back. Alrighty. So is there anything else you guys want to do? Uh, this is basically the end of the session. When we next pick up, it's going to be Halloween itself. Or any preparations gonna, you guys want to say, make. Well, obviously, I've got to prepare for the festival. Yeah. 
So that's going to be what I'll have to read up on exactly what we're going to do. Um, yeah. There may be some tests of pain, possibly. I feel um, like some people need to prove themselves with yeah. some tests of pain. I think I think there's probably going to be some tests of pain. Um, well, I have my willpower points back. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> um, I really don't want to. I think I've I think I've done my due diligence with Jean, those. Jean is going for it because he knows right now, in the suspicions of infernalism, it's him or Joseph, and he knows he can beat Joseph in a test of pain. <laughs> See, the thing so he's like, you, yes. Miles, though, is that when you're at the top. There's only one place to go from there. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Very true. Uh, uh, says Stalwart, did you hear that? Very true. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Very true. <laughs> it's the idea that also that when you're at the bottom, there's only one way to go. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> which is why I'm so eager for our next try. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so I'll have to. Here. I'll, uh, so yeah, so just be prepared. There will be some some tests of pain probably, but I'll have to come up with a festival. All right some dealings so that's what i'll be preparing to do i'll let you know in the interim all right need. Oh, i'm so excited for another Savat festival all right so that's pretty much it then so we can handle experience points first off uh who uh we'll do the voting for the experience point award and we'll start with mary who am i gonna give it to stalworth's off the table right because stalworth won last time yes yeah, yeah. So, let's see, what did... Now that Star Wars turned evil, everyone just wants to give him experience I, you know, points every single week. He does so well. He just does it so <laughs> well. Well, thank you. The fact, I think it's just purely how he cackles maniacally every time <laughs> something happens. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you just lose control and you uh, devour her. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> when, Friendly. you know, when you go into Frenzy, you can spend willpower points to control yourself for no, like one doesn't. turn. No, he doesn't. I always think, Don't like, I should it. remind you of it, but then as soon as I say what happens because of the Frenzy, you immediately start chuckling and I'm like... All right, I don't think <laughs> he's going to resist this. It's, it's just funny. <laughs> yeah, it's funny to kill people. It's just funny. Um, um, so, oh, uh, hmm, I think Jean did probably a little more during the, I'm trying to think, what did, what did you do? Yeah, just give it to me, come on, you know you want to. <laughs> He had sex with a man. I was gonna say, you face. did, okay, you did, you, oh, He now, took a sip of marijuana. Okay, thank you for reminding me. A sip of marijuana, yeah. You did have the full-on, you did have the full-on. I was just trying to remember, I couldn't remember anything that Hassan did during the mm -hmm. episode. That was so, okay, so there was the time with the, with the male twin. Yeah. Which was pretty good. I mean, you I <laughs> out my steered, wife was steered evil. into that curve and you just went with it. So, Mary, but, did you appreciate my acting when I found out my wife was evil? I, yeah. <laughs> I'm rather lobbying for the Academy votes here. <laughs> so, here, how's this money? <laughs> so, so, yes, you did do quite well when you learned that your wife was an infernalist. <sighs> I may have to eeny, meeny, miny, mo this. Just pick one. It's just me. <laughs> just pick you. Um, I'm gonna go with Miles on this one. All right. What gay? Miles, who are yeah, you voting was. for? He was. He he was exactly. <laughs> he was convincingly gay. That's why I said it. <laughs> All right, Miles, who are you voting for? I'm gonna give it to David. <laughs> All right, David, who are you voting for? Well, yeah, Miles. All right, so <laughs> Miles won. Well, no wait. Stalworth still has a vote, that's right. Stalworth didn't vote. Stalworth, who are you Stalworth going for? Um... Me. <laughs> Don't be a dick. <laughs> make, make Zach choose, make Zach choose. Do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm going with Miles. Alright. Thank oh, you. Wow, wow. So Miles wins. <laughs> Collusion. I appreciate it. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll be pulling for five bucks after the session. Yeah. Yeah, okay, Hassan and, and Joseph are truly in league together. All right. We think we think they're plotting against each other, but really. <laughs> all right. And then, uh, all right. So, what did we learn? So, we will uh, start with Miles. I learned about uh, the male twins' marijuana business. All right. 
and uh, David, runner up for I the. I learned she was a vampire. All right. I did not learn my wife's in front list because that's not confirmed. <laughs> Come on. All right. And uh, Mary, what did you learn? Folks, sake, Mary. <laughs> well, I mean, it's. <laughs> it's all right. It's the way he said it. You was a vampire. I don't remember the song. Let's wait for the rest of it. <laughs> anyway, uh. what did I learn? Um, I learned. Her name was June. She was a vampire. <laughs> um, I learned that the female twin can uh, apparently sense infernalism, at least in humans. All right. And Joseph. Um, I learned that, uh, hmm. I learned that there's a possibility that you can get hit with some type of infernalism if you. And it happened right there. We there. saw it. <laughs> if you drink someone's blood, drain them. When they're infernalists. All right. So uh, Miles gets four experience points. Everyone else gets three. And uh, we're gonna pretty much uh, call the session here. There he goes. All right. I need to go to bed. All right. All right. So we of course give the <laughs> we give the painting to uh, Elias. Obviously. He's, uh... yeah. Bye. See ya. See ya. And I will report all of the money to Yamamoto. <laughs>